Hey there. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game. But we don't have that luxury. Really? Is that all? You just don't give up. All right, I have a short list of people I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so maybe I asked around, did my homework. If you hadn't found us, there's a chance I would have found you instead. Thanks for saving me the trip. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me? Just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Blood. Why did 
ghouls have so many oven mitts. Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. That sounds really, really bad. It was a disaster with a capital D. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Excuse me. Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? You have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Ease up there, pal. Or we're gonna have a problem. I already got problems, asshole. That little Slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. They have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Excuse me. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? 
You think he's telling the truth? He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So we're going in through the escape tunnel. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Hey, Ricky. You need something else? We're assaulting the base. Once we strike, use your rifle to pick off anyone you can see. A lot of lives are depending on us. You silver dumb son of a bitch. All right, I'll take a couple shots. But if I see any of them coming for me, I'm running for the hills. We're done. Back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. Let's find a prototype then. Together with you? I like our odds. First step is to override the security lockdown. Got it. Nicely done. Anything useful?
headquarters of the Institute. You must be destroyed. anything
a synth. Sensor reading detected. Engaging hostile life team. Enemy. 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 I got all day if you do. Hey, take this. There's an elevator at the end of the we hall. We missed the party. It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome domes on this side of the mic.
Got it. Nice work. I am equipped with the most advanced institute sensors of it. And the new guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I... I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Call me... 
Professor. You certainly demonstrated your intelligence. Professor it is. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded spots. Some of the people you meet will be institute around. replacements, synth duplicates, them. so be careful what you say. Deacon, That's welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe. Take it to the and not to the Testimony told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this. But that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second-in-command. But what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. Paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Sounds like an important mission. Anything involving Stockton is important. It is. After switchboard, we're so short-handed I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. <laughs> 